Hey guys, it's Rob Guilty, and today we're going to talk about building a new home. I mean, I haven't actually spoken to you about the possibilities of actually being able to build your own home. Now, you might remember recently, or about a year ago, during the lockdowns and whatnot, that I actually went out and I was going through some new houses in the new Sunningdale. And I went back there for another look. So let's go and let's go and check this out. So yeah, we went back to the new Sunningdale to see if there'd been any improvement on what we saw last time we were out there. And uh, I got this footage, which will show you that uh, on the other side of the new Sunningdale, they have now started building in that area as well. Now, I didn't actually stop and go through the houses because they're exactly the same as what we saw last time. Nothing's changed, to be honest with you guys. But I'm just looking at the overall development in the area, which has been quite immense. Um, all down the side, it's filling up. There's new houses coming up everywhere. And... It's looking quite interesting. That said, where we were last time, I was expecting a lot more to happen across the road and nothing's really happened there except they seem to have fenced it off and they might be creating another kind of a, a living area or whatever the case or something to that effect. But uh, it looks like there might be some kind of park there and a club. I don't know. But uh, that was quite interesting as well. What does it cost you to build a new home? Well, you know, I think if you do it through these guys, through garden cities and what have you, it might actually cost you about 12,000 Rand a square meter or 15 or 20, I don't know. It's going to be a lot more expensive than if you did it privately. Now, if you were able to build your own house through a builder, I mean, I've had quotes for seven, 8,000 Rand a square meter, which is absolutely fantastic from good builders and, and architects that can design you a beautiful home. So, I mean, if you're paying on average about 10,000 Rand a square, I'm sure you're doing quite well. So, I think it's a bit of a ripoff down there because I know that they're definitely charging like a minimum of around, say, 12,000 Rand a square. So, now, I don't know why that video keeps stopping, but it's, it's interesting to note, okay, that the area down to the side, okay, on the right-hand side, has kind of not done much. There's just an area that's built up there. But from what we saw last time, there has been some more houses coming up and it's quite interesting. So how do you go about it if you want to go and build a new home for yourself, particularly in Bloberg or Cape Town or whatever the case? Well, around here in Sunningdale, unfortunately, from what I've seen, you have to use garden cities and uh, the Oaks are charging quite a lot. I don't think they'll sell you a plot of land on its own. I think you've actually got to buy the thing through them, which is which is not great, but that's how it is. And so you've got to find yourself a plot of land somewhere else around the area, maybe Parkman's North, or if you can still find something in West Beach or the beach areas or whatever the case, you can build something for yourself. But there's nothing nicer than the sort of new home feeling, having a brand new home, nobody's lived there, it's all yours. Um, apart from maybe a brand new car, which is also fantastic and one or two other great things in life. But a new home is, is, is amazing. So, you know, if you're thinking of going that route, why not? I mean, gee whiz. Um, look, the big thing I've noticed that is if you buy a used home, a second-hand home, nine times out of ten, when it comes to valuation and in the areas, it's almost impossible to build the home on the plot of land um, for the same amount of money that you're going to pay for a used home. So if you find a property and you do the calculations on the square meterage of the land and of the house and the outbuildings, etc., you probably find you're paying a hell of a lot less, in fact, two-thirds of the cost um, of, of what you would have paid and if you built it yourself. And, then, and that's not even without adding on things like you're going to put a driveway in and you're going to put a shed in and you're going to do X and Y and Z and all the little extras that you're going to add on at a later stage. Those cost money. They cost hundreds of thousands of rands to add these things on around the house. Walls, 10-foot walls, things like that that don't come 
with building the house. So take that into consideration when you're buying because you can buy a used home incredibly a hell of a lot cheaper than what you can build a brand new home for. Um, gardens cost money, all those extras, you know, that isn't even taken into account. So there's just a thought for you guys, but it is nice to have a new home. And if you're thinking of it being your home and you're staying there forever, and you can get a builder that can build for you at a good price, and you know you want to do this sort of thing, great stuff, it's great fun. Also, a lot of people don't like going through builders and having all the stress and hassles and whatnot, so keep that in mind as well. If it's going to stress you out, don't do it. If you don't have the time for it, don't do it. Because it's very much, it takes up a lot of your time. And it is stressful getting things the way you want them at the end of the day. So I just thought I'd speak to you about that today, guys. Because I thought it might be interesting. Building a new home, why not build your own house? It's great. <laughs> just don't do it like old Petro Jelly that remember that show. And then one brick a day or something to that effect. And 30 years later, they're still like on the foundations or something. No, that's not how it works. But guys, if you're into real estate and you're a real estate consultant or something like that, why well, do yourself a favor, go down to my description and check out the Millionaire Real Estate Agent book. Get it for yourself. It's an amazing book. It'll help you in your career. Um, as I said, I'm not there with you, so go for it. Do it. Do your thing. And while you're here, go and check out our shop, our Cape Town Auto Spare shop. It's down there. There's things in there for sale. There's new parts, there's used parts. It's all there. Guys, thanks for watching. Until next time, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, have a great week. Cheerio. Ciao, ciao.